I am still your host, but order is not my strong point. Vitra between Rar and Dorsh. The game we are playing on the map, which is Dorsh shield bots going. Rar is going for something I don't know yet. Shields as well. So shield versus shield on Vitra. A map which is very strong for bots because despite how flat it looks, it's actually not very vehicle passable. These hills right here, not vehicle passable. Same with this. Not at all. The sides are, but the front isn't. And this area in the center, not vehicle pathable. So despite its apparent size and apparent flatness, it's actually not very vehicle friendly. Rar starting out with the dirtbag, not scouting out quickly. Dorsh, however, was scouting out pretty quickly with the dirtbag. Both players going for pretty standard dirtbag bandit start. Nothing special. This is this is how you start with shield butts. That's just how it's done. Dirtbag and a bandit. So, nothing really too much to say here. Both players setting up pretty well. Dorsh a little bit slower on the energy game than Arar. But a bit faster in the scouting game. So they know what Arar's up to, they know what Arar's going for shield bots. They know where Rar is, but they're probably not going to go over to harassment too quickly. Looks like these bandits are entirely intended for defensive purposes. Rar, on the other hand, much more suspicious. Sending dirtbags around every direction just to be sure they know exactly when they find what they want to find. They know where they where Dorsh is once they find them. Uh, okay, so Dorsh pointing out that Rar starts Banshees a lot. Which, really? Because Rar I know to go for a lot of commanders. But the Banshee thing I wasn't as aware of. Rar loves to upgrade their commander. They really like the commander part of the game. Which in 0k is not actually that strong, but they do love it. They do take advantage of it. This game is not actually showcasing that yet. Not sure if it will. This appears to be a bit more of a straightforward game. Rar does not seem to be doing anything tricky right now. And that's fine. So Rar right now just scouting around, making sure they know exactly where Dorsh is. Dorsh knows where Rar is. They know that Rar is not doing anything tricky right now. Rar going for very quick outlaws, though. Not sure what they're expecting. Dorsh is being quite defensive. I don't think they really have to worry about getting attacked that quickly. Dorsh being defensive, a little bit economical. Slower than Rar, sadly, but still not being particularly aggressive right now. I'm not sure what exactly they're planning on doing. It looks like mostly reclaim-based play. Getting their energy up by way of reclaim rather than by way of solar collectors. Can they build that? I guess they can. Okay, so... Behind. Dorsh is very clearly behind right now. Okay, there we go. There's the commander upgrades. That's what I was looking for. Rar going for those commander morphs. Because that's what Rar does. Rar does commander morphs. Dorsh, on the other hand, just building their army up. Getting those outlaws set up. Getting everything else set up. They just... That's what they're worried about. I guess they're worried about ticks as well. Or roaches, rather. I want to make sure Rar's commander doesn't get hit by roaches. Which is a good thing, would be a good idea for Dorsh to do, because the commander, one big target like that, using a handful of roaches will take it out very quickly and completely destroy Rara's strategy. Okay, so this is because Dorsh apparently does use Roach a lot, and I've played Dorsh a few times, but not on maps where Roach would have come up, so I hadn't really seen him too much. Dorsh is a player that tends to go for somewhat less conventional strategies. I find I have to be on my toes and I'm playing against them. Because I'm never quite sure what they're going to do. They always seem to find something tricky. And actually, there are roaches already in play. So that was not an illegitimate concern. Roaches already in play. Dorsh is already set up. And Rar is already prepared to deal with this. Although, unfortunately, their commander is so far up front, it might reveal the roach. But the roach should be able to get the damage off first. What is Dorsh up to? They're accessing metal. I'm not sure why they keep doing that. I don't think they're building for anything. They're just accessing metal. They're just not building out of their factory when they should be. Now getting up to the, the convicts, they need to get the factory building up faster, which is exactly what they need. Unfortunately, they also need more energy. And they do not have any... Well, they have some solar collectors being built up, but that's still fairly late. So Rara's economy considerably healthier, and that Roach getting in... Yeah, there we go, getting rid of a thug, heavily damaging one of the outlaws, and spots the commander. 
also damaging it fairly heavily. So right now, Rar being much more paranoid, trying to find those roaches. They don't know where the remaining roaches are. The answer is nowhere. They do not exist. There are no remaining roaches, but still, Dorsh has got Rar respecting those roaches. They're terrified of those roaches. Felon dropping in here, and Rar just about to get a level 3. Heavy machine gun, range, and shield with some auto repair. And that Felon out gets rid of one of the outlaws. The other outlaw is doomed. But Rar right now is... What did they upgrade it to? It's so close. What is it? 65% left. They're getting close. Hitting a commander dead is going to be hard. Do the auto repair system. Repairing the outlaw as well. And at this point, Dor's trying to make sure Rar can't expand either. They have already got some scouts set up at the side expansions. Or side metal extractors, rather. But Rar's not worried about that. Rar's actually not building too much economically. Even though it will be difficult for Dorsh to fight this off. Dorsh is basically just doing this to see what happens. They're not going to be able to stop it. Although, Rar actually is respecting this. It looks like Rar is... No, Rar's not aware of that. They're just paranoid about it. The possibility that there are bandits here. And there are. So this bandit should be able to win a fight just because of the shield. Hard to say, though. And drones coming in here. Rar with drones. And another heavy machine gun. So double heavy machine gun. And what's their range right now? Sheesh. Range 348 Elmos. Not huge. It's fairly big, but it's not huge. Compared to say the Felon's 400, yeah, 430. And yeah, like I said. Dorsh now aware where Rar is expanding, but was not going to stop that. However, Rar did have to put a bandit there. Don't think it matters, though, just because Rar's commander is basically everything they have. That's their strategy right now. Level 4 Assault Commander. Or Strike Commander. Called Assault Commander now? Oh no, it's just... Well, okay, it's mixed up. It was called Strike Commander. And now Dorsh going for direct attack. Dorsh, do you not have radar? Dorsh has radar. They're not worried about the commander coming into their main base. That is... That's Rar's army. This is Rar's entire army. I mean, I guess they're maybe trying to go for a base trade situation, but I don't think that's going to work. Dorsh doesn't really have the stronger economy. He hasn't had the stronger economy the entire game. And doesn't... Despite, despite the army advantage, like, if they get rid of Rar's commander, that's perfect. They're in a great position. If they get rid of Rar's commander, they win. But their army's too slow for a base trade to really work. They'd lose their base before getting halfway to Dorsh's. They already lost half their base. And that was just going there, just a little bit out and back. That was going out the front door. They weren't at Dorsh's side yet. Sorry, they weren't at Rar's side yet. They're just a little past their own. And those heavy machine guns causing a major problem for the bandits coming in here. Rogue... Or, yeah, the rogue should be a bit better, but now at level 5... Ooh, disruptor ammo. Oh, is that... Are they slowing? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're slowing. 79 slow damage per second. That's gonna kill the shield. Oh, she did kill the shield. You just see the felon got ripped to shreds. Because the shields can't last. Slow damage and paralysis damage affects shields directly. Shields more, more than it does normal damage. It affects it at least as much as the printed value. So slow damage rips shields to shreds. So yeah, no wonder the felon didn't do any good. Its its shield is its ammo, and its ammo was destroyed in an instant. The band is trying their best, but Rar's commander with the two machine guns will tear them apart as well. Just for being dual machine gun. The rogues are the best bet they have, but Rar already with in the amount of repair they have. How much are they repairing? It's like 20, maybe 20 or 30 health a second being repaired. Oh, 45 HP per second being repaired. Yeah, that's that's where a commander, a high level commander can work. Oh, slow apparently is one third of shield? Well, still, it's a lot of extra damage. Yeah, Rar... I mean, last stand for Dorsh coming in here, trying... I mean, if they surround with the bandits, they might have a chance. Like, not coming in like this. This is death. Although, admittedly, the outlaws in the back don't help either. Like, going in a nice sur... Like, going in a nice sur... Surround, like that, maybe? But yeah, unfortunately, they didn't get... Like, that's all... The only hope they had would have been a good concave. And even then, it would have been really close. They probably would have lost everything in the process. Not unlike what happened. So, that was Rar showcasing their commander. 
I wasn't wrong. This is how RAR plays. Yeah, okay, Kamikaze wouldn't have done enough at that point. The outlaws are just too much on top of the machine guns. Like, everything. There's just so much there. Dealing with that would have been too much of a pain. I think earlier, like, when they're all bunched up, it's kind of hard to do that with shields because you want the shields to cover everything. But you also want to make sure the units are far enough away that anti-riot measures don't destroy them all at once. Anyway, that... That was that for the 0k portion of this stream, but I am going to be showcasing the upcoming, or not the upcoming, the current Ludum Dare game, the most recent one that was made by Spring Cabal. That'll be up in a couple minutes. The stream will go down and then come back on again. I just need to change a couple things because OBS doesn't allow me to change the stream configuration while it's running. So I'm going to have to change that and then restart the stream. So stay tuned for that. That'll be up in a couple minutes, two or three minutes probably.